Hello and welcome back to another 5M development tutorial. My name is Puggo. It's been a while since I've posted a tutorial and I figured we could top it off today with a 5PD install tutorial working for 2025. Right now I'm going to expect that you already have a server ready if you're going to be this far in. If not, I'm sure you can find a tutorial out there. If not, just go to 5M.net and walk through some of their tutorials. First, we're going to be on this website and we'll have everything leaked, linked in the description. We're going to download 5PD. So right here, download version 1.5.2. It's going to open up a Proton drive. What you want to do is once this is open, just click download. I'm not going to download because I already have it downloaded, but you will go ahead and click download. Second, we're going to want this Trooper Leary's 5PD expansion pack. This is an lcpdfr.com. I will have this linked in the description. Download this file. Download version 1.5 or whatever is latest. You're going to go ahead and download that. And third, I would suggest getting some extra callouts. Uh, I would suggest BGHD Developments callouts because they have some pretty great callouts. You have plenty to pick from here today i'm going to be installing the car callouts just whichever you want just go ahead and click that i've already got it downloaded so i'm not going to click again once that's done we are going to go ahead and open this today so we're going to go ahead and open our server once you have that open open your resources file First thing you're going to want to open is that 5PD folder. It's normally going to be titled 5PD with the version number. As you can see there, we're going to go ahead and open up this 5PD folder. Drag this out of the way here a little bit. And you see this is the resource here. So we're just going to drag in this 5PD folder. So that's going to have everything we need right there. That's 5PD. As for the database, it comes with its own. You can set up a different one, but I'm not gonna be going into that today as the one they have works pretty well. Um, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this 5PD resource name. So if we just wanna copy that, come back into the server.cfg, we will go ahead and hit ensure, and then just paste that in there and go ahead and save. Once that's in, that is ready to go. Next, we're going to be adding the car callouts. Let's go ahead and do that next. I'm gonna close 5PD out because we don't need that anymore. So when you have extra callouts, you're just gonna open up the 5PD folder, go to callouts. You're gonna open up this car callouts here and you just want the .net.dll. You're just gonna drop that in and boom, that's downloaded. I'm going to close this out because we are now done. And the final thing, we want this 5PD expansion. So this is gonna tell us how to download this here. You're gonna replace the files in your 5PD to config folder. So we're gonna open this back up. So we want to go to the 5PD in our server directory, find the config folder, go ahead and go to our files. And we're just going to drag these in and it'll ask if you want to replace the files go ahead and do that once that's done we can close this we are good to go before we move on into game because believe it or not you are actually done from here what we want to do is we want to open up this config and apologies that's wrong you don't want to open up the config folder you want to find the config.json for the cad there is a cad in game there is an administrator password and it's right here for today i'm just going to leave it just as admin but you can change that on your side and for this discord support i don't believe this works anymore i could be wrong um but if you're planning to use discord integration i do not believe it works but for the sake of this, I just wanted to show you where to change the admin code. So that is right there. We've got the 5PD insured, so we should be good to go in server. All right, so now that the server is up, you can go ahead and see that the 5PD loading screen is up. This is a good sign to say that everything's working. 
once we're in server, we can see how everything is working. So we can see we're 87% now. I'll go ahead and see you when we are in game. All right, now that we are loaded in, first thing we're gonna look at is in the top left-hand corner, you can see the 5PD uh, little tag there. You can also see on the on the mini-map that you have all the stations. That's a good sign. We're gonna go ahead and press F11. That's gonna bring up the duty menu. So you're gonna, gonna, gonna wanna go on duty. Uh, go ahead and load a vehicle. Uh, if you have custom vehicles, as long as they are law enforcement vehicles, those will work as well. Uh, first thing we're gonna do, all right, now that we're in a vehicle and we are on duty, go ahead and press B. That will bring up the CAD. Now you wanna enter that admin code down below here. Uh, if you change it, just enter that here. I left it as admin. We're gonna hit enter. And now you can see we can create a department. First thing, so we're gonna create, let's say Los Santos Police Department. Uh, LSPD for the short name. You can add images if you would like. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it. Uh, max members, however you would like that. I'm not really sure what this is. I'm gonna be honest, so I'm just gonna put one. I don't quite think it matters. Here you have your formatting options, numbers, letters. I'm just gonna do number, number, number. Create. That will create the department. So now we can join that. And if you want to customize the department, you can come down to department. You can see all this information. You can see who's in the department as well as you can create rank. So let's say chief of police. Priority, we'll set it to 10. And maybe you want them to have all these permissions. You can go through and read through those if you would like. Let's go ahead and promote myself to the chief of police. And that is pretty much everything you need to be aware of in here. Here's your personal detail. So maybe you want to change it. Your name. Just like that. You can see it change up here. And now that we're in game, we're going to go ahead and see if we can get ourselves a call. First thing we're going to press is Z. This is going to bring up the call out menu. If you are an admin in the server, you will see this debug menu. This will allow you to force call outs or disable call outs. So let's go ahead and force a call out, maybe a slow vehicle. We're going to hit Y to accept the call. It's going to be back here. Got to turn around here. We're going to go all the way down here to the call. We're going to respond. All right. Now that we're on scene, we saw the vehicle back here moving at a slow rate of speed what we're going to want to do i believe is left control and left shift will initiate a traffic stop so they're going to go ahead and pull over here so you see they're going to go ahead and stop i'm going to hop out i don't know why i have a fire extinguisher I'm going to go ahead and press X. That's going to bring up this interaction menu. I'm going to interact with the driver and ask them for their license. Jan Eaton. I can do all this stuff with them. Maybe I want to do a breathalyzer, drug swab. You can go and run the name in the CAD. It's pretty neat. It works great if you want to do this with your friends. All that good stuff. So let's go ahead. Uh, I already forgot their name. That's really unfortunate. I believe it was Jan Eaton, wasn't it? Yes, Jan Eaton. So we're gonna go ahead and run that name. Jan Eaton. You can see it comes back with an expired driver's license here. So from there, we can do whatever we want them to do. I believe if you press X there, you can move their vehicle. I'm gonna order them out of the vehicle. I'm gonna hold E to cuff them. And maybe I want somebody else to come and transport them to jail. I'm going to press G, dispatch menu, and prison transport. And so by running that scene with you, you can kind of see what all the commands are. X is what you want to use to interact. E is what you're going to use to stop a person. If you're pointing your weapon at them, that's how you stop them. Or you're going to cuff them that way. And G is your 
dispatch menu, Z is your callout menu, and F11 is your duty menu. So that has been another tutorial. As you can see, they are currently headed to jail. If you have any further questions, you can always leave them in the comics or join my Discord. I'd be happy to help you there. But for now, go ahead, like, subscribe, again, comment, helps us out, lets other people see this. So I appreciate you watching and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you.